In the tumultuous aftermath of the fall of Eregion, as darkness crept across Middle-earth, Elrond Half-Elven emerged as a beacon of hope. Born of Erendil the Mariner and Elwing, Elrond carried the legacy of both elves and men. After the catastrophic War of Wrath, he chose the path of the Elder, dedicating himself to the preservation of Middle-earth. When the treacherous Sauron revealed his true intentions and unleashed his forces upon Eregion, Elrond was dispatched by High King Gilgalad to aid the besieged realm. Despite his swift approach, he arrived too late to save Celebrimbor and the city of Ost in Edhil. Confronted with overwhelming enemy forces, Elrond gathered the surviving elves and led a strategic retreat northward. Guided by wisdom and perhaps destiny, Elrond led his people through hidden paths, evading Sauron's relentless pursuit. They reached a secluded valley nestled in the foothills of the Misty Mountains, near the source of the Bruinen River. Enclosed by steep cliffs and veiled by cascading waterfalls, the valley offered natural protection, a refuge from the encroaching darkness. Recognizing the valley's potential as a stronghold against evil, Elrond established Imladris, known to men as Rivendell, the deep dale of the cleft. Here, the exiles began anew, building a haven where the light of the Eldar could endure. Elrond fortified Rivendell with both martial defenses and elven enchantments, making it a place of healing, wisdom, and resilience. Elrond's library became a repository of ancient texts, songs, and histories, preserving the knowledge of the Eldar and the tales of ages past. Among these treasured works were writings like the Noldolante, the lament of the fall of the Noldor, composed by Maglor, son of Fëanor. Elrond himself had been raised by Maglor and Maedros after the tragedy at the Havens of Sirion, deepening his understanding of both sorrow and hope. Bearing Vilya, the Ring of Air, greatest of the Three Rings, entrusted to him by Gil-galad, Elrond enhanced Rivendell's protections. The Ring amplified his innate powers, allowing him to preserve the valley from decay and conceal it from enemy eyes. Yet he wielded Vilya with caution, ever mindful of the watchful gaze of Sauron. Rivendell became a sanctuary not only for elves, but for all who opposed Sauron. It stood as a beacon of unity among the Free Peoples. Elrond's lineage connected him to both elves and men. His brother Elros had chosen mortality and founded the line of the Kings of Numena. This dual heritage made Rivendell a place where all races could find counsel and aid. Elrond took a special interest in the heirs of Isildwë, fostering the line of kings among men. He nurtured and guided them, understanding that their fate was intertwined with the destiny of Middle-earth. Among them was Aragorn, whom Elrond raised as a son teaching him the skills and wisdom needed to face the challenges ahead. Throughout the long years, Elrond's wisdom and leadership were instrumental in the struggle against Sauron. He participated in the War of the Last Alliance, witnessing the defeat of Sauron and the fateful choice of Esildue to keep the One Ring. Elrond's foresight warned of the peril this decision would bring. In the Third Age, Rivendell remained a bastion against the growing shadows. It was here that the Council of Elrond was held, bringing together representatives of elves, dwarves, men, and hobbits to decide the fate of the One Ring. Elrond's guidance was crucial in forming the Fellowship of the Ring, setting in motion the quest that would determine the fate of Middle-earth. Elrond's establishment of Rivendell was not just the founding of a refuge, but the creation of a legacy of hope, unity, and resilience. His actions ensured that the wisdom of the Eldar would endure, 
guiding future generations in the fight against darkness. Through his unwavering commitment to the preservation of Middle-earth, Elrond exemplified the enduring spirit of its free peoples. Thank you for joining this journey through Middle-earth's history. If you enjoyed this tale of Elrond's courage and wisdom, please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more stories from Tolkien's world.